For Holocaust survivor Leon Gersten, Hanukkah and Thanksgiving had a special meaning this year. He was reunited on Wednesday at JFK Airport in New York with Czesław Polczek, the Polish man whose family kept Gersten hidden from Nazis during World War II. I'm very glad to see you. I cannot believe that I am here. I am very happy that after 69 years of separation, I can finally meet my friend. This is where Polchek's parents hid Gersten and members of his family for two years, in the attic of this old house in Zawatka, Poland, until the Soviets liberated the area in July of 1944. We never forgot the fact that you and, of course, your parents are the ones who saved our lives, and the only reason we are alive is because of you and your family, and your, especially your parents. Stanislaw and Maria Polchek risked a lot by hiding the family. They had five kids of their own, and they endured raids and beatings by the Nazis. Decades later, the two men could hardly let go of each other. Like I said, it's a huge satisfaction for him and for me, and we are like comrades, like war comrades. Because we had no toys. We had no books. The reunion was made extra special, Gersten said, because it happened on the first day of Hanukkah, the Jewish festival of lights. Hanukkah, which also represents the, the, the traditional Jewish victory over the Romans, while the Romans were trying to repress us. And, uh, and, and, I, and I think Thanksgiving Day also you know, represents this symbolic feeling of, of having freedom, justice, fairness, and being able to be what you wanted to be. Young Gersten would go on to have 34 grandchildren. As they entered the room at JFK and their children entered, something became clear. This wasn't just one man giving thanks to a life that was saved decades ago. It's generations of lives saying thank you in this season of giving thanks for enjoying the simple, enduring spirit of being alive.